Yo, what's good? What's good, main biker? Head into the uh, head into a Harley Davidson dealership. Head into a Harley Davidson dealership to test ride the new 2024 Road Glides. I test rode the 23. I don't, I don't like I don't like stuff like that. That stuff makes me nervous. I see in Palm Destination. I don't like no trucks or cars with anything hanging out off of it or inside of it uh in the trailer of it or anything like that always remember that scene on the highway and uh, i think it was final destination two or three where the 18 wheeler was on the highway towing the logs and then the string the little chains and stuff that they had the logs tied down to popped and the uh and um yeah and the logs went flying through the flying over the highway flying over the roads hit busting into people's cars and all that so ever since then ever since i saw that as a young bull it made me always like cautious riding behind or anywhere near any type of stuff like that i seen a guy in an orange or a red harley flew by earlier when i was now getting onto the highway i saw him when i was merging onto the highway i saw him fly by I will try to catch up with him, but there's so much traffic and this I know it's gonna be some nice geniuses doing all kind of stuff like that guy, so But uh yeah man I wanna definitely test ride that uh that new 2020 uh the new 2024s They grew on me when I first saw it I didn't like it too much but then I because I was a little worried about the headlights but then they grew on me instantly and I'm like wait I like that better you know sometimes when you see something change we, we normally like push back against the change because you're used to what you're used to seeing i've been wanting to upgrade my oh there he goes uh, i've been wanting to upgrade my bike for a while but um i've been wanting to upgrade my bike for a while because it's a 2015 they no longer make it it's discontinued as of 2017 it's a yamaha it's going on a decade old. This year, tw next year is gonna make a decade. And then on top of it, it's discontinued. Yamaha is not even like focusing on all cruiser parts and cruiser bikes anymore like that. So it kind of makes me nervous that whenever it gets to the point where I need some type of part or repairs or anything, I got like what? Let me see how much miles I got on this bike right now. 11,769. But it makes me nervous that uh, whenever the time comes where I need parts and stuff, it's gonna be difficult to find. Like even right now, when I need something simple as like a, I needed like a backrest or like just simple parts to mod the bike. It was like hard to get it. Oh yeah, that's a Harley uh, street, street Glide. So it makes me like nervous you know i want to keep this but then i might i don't know i'm thinking maybe i could trade it out and uh if i trade it out then that's a big down payment towards my trike then that's a decent down payment towards my new towards the new vehicle but well, damn okay where you going though the speed limit here is what 55 i'm doing 71. i guess it's still not fast enough for them so let them go ahead I'm cruising anyway. I ain't even worn my bike up yet. Oh, it's so beautiful over there. Yeah, but uh... Well, it's windy up here too, because I'm going over a bridge. Feel the wind like grabbing me. But yeah. So I, I, you know, and then on top of it, when I took my trip to Florida, for Daytona Bike Week, I, I took the same highway actually, straight all the way to them, near almost to North Carolina. I stayed over in North Carolina by one of the homies' house for about two days and then the next day me and him jumped on the bikes and I rode out to Florida to Jacksonville he's on a um, he's on a Harley Ultra Ultra? Ultra I think something Ultra <laughs> I'm not too, I'm not Ultra Limited or something yeah Harley Ultra Limited and I'm you know and I'm like my bike is nice and free and naked but it has no technology 
no ABS, no traction control. So when it's raining, I'm my own traction control based upon how I control the throttle and the brakes and everything. And my lean angles and stuff like that. I got to manage that by myself. Which makes it a little sketchy when it's raining because we got caught in a lot of rain heading out to Florida for Bike Week. Daytona Beach Bike Week. And uh, we even got stormed on, on uh, one Saturday night in uh, Daytona Beach. But, uh, but with all that being said, like doing that trip made me realize how much I need a bike with cruise control so you can rest your arms sometimes. I got like this little manual cruise control thing that I can do and I can just snap it down and it keeps the speed and I can like pretty much no hands or whatever but it's not as sufficient as like an actual you know cruise control and on top of it uh, you know just the little technologies that I want I realized also when we uh, got caught in the rain and it was raining so hard and it was like 9 at night and we can barely see on the highways my homeboy put his blinkers on guess what my bike comes with no blinkers, no flashers, no um, not blinkers, but like like uh, hazards. You got your basic left, right turn signals, but no hazards. So that's another issue. Then on top of it, I had a whole shitload of luggage on the back of the bike because I have no saddlebags. It's a pretty much a naked bike. It's a sport. It's a sport cruiser, like a, it's a muscle cruiser. So it's built to like just step on it and fly, but. Uh, no luggage. I had to buy bags and stack luggage on the back of the bike, which sometimes my luggage would move around. Then on top of it, I lost the rain cover for the luggage on the highway somewhere because you're doing like 80, 90 the whole way. The wind took the goddamn luggage cover. <laughs> Man, I was in, I was a mess. Then my back was hurting because my luggage would have me have to push forward, so I couldn't really sit comfortable. My shoulder was hurting because the bars, the way the bars are set up, I'm stretched out as you can see. My arms are like fully stretched out because it's a long bike. This bike is 100 and, uh, 101.2 inches long. Which is like I think 8 feet and change. The Harley that I want is a little shorter but it's a bigger bike. It's bigger but it's shorter to reach the bars and everything. And the overall length of the, bar, the bike is shorter because my bike has a long rake in the front. Like a crazy, um, not a lot necessarily long rake but a, 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 a rake angle that's like stretched out. When the Harleys have a steeper braking angle, which makes the bikes a little shorter, so I can throw it up on the back of a pickup truck or something easier. So the bike is not as long. The Harley is about 95 inches long. This is 102, 101.2. Um, I'm looking to get me a Ram truck, so I figure with the bed down, I'll be able to tow the, um, the Harley, the road glide if I get it. I do want it, but I'm scared. I'm like, I, I don't know if I miss this bike. You know, and then you know, then I could do it and do get uh, keep this bike and still get that bike. But then that maybe have to put down bread up front, which I rather not. And with this as a down payment, since this is I bought this straight cash right when the pandemic hit, and like pandemic really hit in like March of 2020, where people really understand stuff is getting shut down. I got this bike. Oh shoot, I know I turn. Shit, you know what? I think I'm about to have to merge over. Oh hell yeah! I got this. I got this bike in 2020, uh, May, May like I think it was May 29 to be exact. And then about a little after that, about a month after that, I moved out to I moved out of New York to PA. I bought this in Long Island, New York. You know, I worked out there, but live in the city. Lived in Brooklyn. So. But with all that being said, like I take the bike back and forth because I still got a, I still got a, a spot in New York. So, like New York is like my weekend crib now, not necessarily my my weekday crib. So I travel back and forth sometimes every weekend, sometimes every two weekends. Cause ain't nothing like New York, you know. It's annoying and shit with the traffic and all the crowds and all that. But ain't nothing like. Yeah, I'm, damn, this bike picks up so fast. Look how quick I got to 90 something. But the thing is, the, the passing power is crazy on this bike. So I hope the Harley got the same type of passing power and stuff. It has more horsepower, has a stronger engine. This is a 113 cubic inch engine. The Harley is on a 117 right now and I'm feeling that. And this is exit 114. <laughs> the 
listening to the homie Trill Will, the LDBC, hashtag LDBC. Yeah. But um, yeah, so just the the the, the, not, the, the, not, the bike not being designed for like crazy long tours. And you know, like I built my own GPS dashboard as you can see. Nice and functional, built it. It took forever to build that thing, man. It was so hard to, to build because I was using PVC board, which is very hard to cut and keep it smooth. Like I cut it and then I filed it down with a manual file. Holy smokes, I should have just bought, <laughs> I should have bought some type of filing, electronic file, but electrical file or something. But I filed it down by hands. My biceps, not biceps, my triceps, yo, was on fire. You hear me? Fire, like for like a week. Because it took like days to file it to get it smooth. I had to file not only the exterior but the interior also. Yo, this lotion I got on, I, I just got this, uh, this like coconut vanilla type of lotion. Yeah, that joint is like, I can smell that joint in my helmet. I like this SRT uh, Dodge 392, okay. Yeah, I'm looking at that Ram, man. I might, I might definitely pull the plug. If I don't get the bike, I'm gonna get the Ram. I don't, I, I'm not buying both. I mean, my my joint I got right now, my whip I got right now, is good. It's still good, but it's not a pickup truck, you know. Oh, that's a butterfly. All right. As many times I go to this dealership, I still always forget. Is it a left or right turn coming up? I feel like I'm after merge soon. Uh, is it here? You know what? Let me get over one. Let me get over because I feel like it is. Yeah. Well, after I then look at the bikes and stuff, if I don't cop a bike, then there's a dealership right over there too. Like a, about two minutes away is a Ram dealership too. On them Dodge, Chryslers, and Jeep dealerships. So I'm gonna go see what's going on over there afterwards if I don't end up leaving with a bike. I'm nervous, man. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna get rid of good old Queen Sheba right now. Like, I think I'm gonna be like, nervous to get rid of her. Like, she's been good to me, you know? It's, it's because it has no technology in it, it's easy. It's just iron, engine, and wheels. And it's, it's, yeah, you got, there's no payments on it, you know? I got a good deal from that dealership during COVID. They were scared, they didn't know what was gonna happen to the world, and they dropped this shit damn near half price. Can't even lie. So that's why, even if I go in the dealership and they try to lowball me a little bit on the, on the, on the trading value, I'm still kinda gonna win because it'll probably be about a thousand dollars less than what I paid for the bike. So I won't even consider it taking an L having a bike for four years riding the bike cross states numerous times but you know my co-workers they want to go to Sturgis South Dakota for bike for bike week this year they got a free they got free hotels built um, all along the trip they got a free hookup for a freebie for me they're like yo we got space for you you ain't gotta pay for nothing except your food and your gas and I can't make it on this bike it's not it's not built for it This bike is definitely not built for it, so I know I can't. Uh, I know I know that uh, I'm not even gonna go. Yeah. Anyways, y'all. You know what? I'm gonna keep y'all running till I go up into the dealership. I'm gonna keep it running till I go up in the dealership. Yo, I feel like I got a goddamn lint on my lint on my lip or something, or my tongue or something. That's the worst when you got your helmet on, you got lint. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it out. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> that was nasty though. I definitely just like spit on the floor. Uh, shouldn't be doing that to this wonderful earth that God blessed us with. Look at this beautiful day. Look at this beautiful day. Look at the sun, man. 
God is great, man. God is great. Everything is possible with God, you know? He makes everything possible. Too many times I think a lot of us get, you know, go to sleep and wake up the next day. Go to sleep and rise up the next day and forget to thank God for just waking us up. You know, there's a lot of other people that didn't wake up. Some of the blessings that we have, a lot of people don't have the same blessings, so... We gotta uh, appreciate every little thing, man. Just the fact of me going to a dealership looking at a bike. You know, I remember them days when I used to be like, man, I want a bike so bad. But you know, you're young, you can't afford an, a, a, you know, and then you buy a nice little sports car and then you're like, yeah, I'm gonna get a sports car on a bike until living in a state like New York, you realize my insurance for the goddamn car is higher than the car note. Welcome to New York City. Welcome <laughs> to New York City. That's how it goes, man. That's how they get you in New York. New York ain't built like New York City ain't built for like you to have nice cars. Plus, on top of it, people gonna be hitting your car every second. It's gonna destroy your bump on your car. So New York ain't built for like nice cars. Maybe if you upstate or in like in Long Island or something. I see a bike pulling up on my right. Yeah, I see a bike pulling up. But if you anywhere in like they say, like in Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx. Manhattan like it ain't working out for you it ain't working out for you it's gonna be oh shit damn I should have took that silly me damn I could have took that oh look how long that shit is oh man I could have oh man I could have hit that I could have caught that yeah hey this is the Ram dealer is this it yeah I'm gonna be coming there afterwards the dealership is like a light down and this and this is right here yeah so yeah that's the older road glide and a street glide It's up here I'm turning, yeah. Ah, oh, look, they're going the same place I'm going. Ooh, I see bikes. I guess they're doing like a demo day, I think. I think my coworker did tell me they're doing demos because his wife works there so i think he did tell me they're doing like demos all uh demos today demo rides today like the whole weekend they were doing demo rides uh. that's ride the new 2024 road glide and street glide today Go inside. I'ma look at them, and then I'ma. Um... Oh shoot! Them that bike just kicked mad dust into my eyes. Mm, what's happening here? Where can I park? Where can I park? Where can I park? Where can I park? I see a spot. They probably gonna be like, get your goddamn Yamaha away from us. Alright, screw it. I guess this will do it. <sighs> Let me hit up my co-worker and see what's good.